I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants you to be humble. You see, the Bible says to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. That means God wants you to literally surrender so that he can guide you. Jesus says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. See, to follow means to get behind. That's a form of humility. You have to be willing to take a back seat. You have to be willing to know that you don't know it all. You just need to know the one who knows it all. You got me? <laughs> See, as a follower of Jesus, like I don't need to know it all. I just need to know the one who knows it all. You may have went to school, got a lot of education, and I'm all for education. Please go get your knowledge. But you can have more degrees than a thermometer. <laughs> you still got to trust God. <laughs> you still got to submit to God. Because see, God is our leader. And see, you have, to, you have to stay humble. DeMarcus, how do you stay humble? See, listen to me. When you wake up, go down so that you can be up before you go out. Wake up, go down in terms of humility, submitting yourself. Pray, talk to God, say, Lord, I take my hands off the steering wheel today, Lord. Lead God, guard, and keep me, Lord. I'm trusting you to guide me. Your word says, your word is a lamp to my feet, a light unto my path. And, and I'm telling you, God will speak to you. He'll direct you. It's God that's running this show. Submit everything to God. You're natural. God is supernatural, boy. God can breathe on a situation. God can do more in two seconds than you can do in 20 years. But, 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 but you got to submit to him and allow him to run this show. When you wake up, go down. That's ter in terms of humility, submitting yourself to God and being led by the spirit, right? So that you can be up before you go out. Because see, spiritually, you want to be up before you go out. Because as soon as you leave out the door in the morning, what you're going to run into? The people, the problems, the pain, the pressure. The four P's of life. The, the people, problems, pain, pressure. Starting when you are here in traffic. Boy, somebody, uh, somebody uh, get over without using a blinker and they'll flip the middle finger at you. <laughs> Early in the morning. What you going to do? You done ran into one of the four P's, boy. I tried to tell you. But if we're being led by the spirit, we say, oh, hey, you know, I ain't got to flip a middle finger back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let it slide. But boy, if we don't go down so that we can be up before we go up, we're liable to do anything. Because we're governing ourselves. We're running the show. Flesh want to do what flesh want to do. Listen to me and I'll help you out with this right here. When the Holy Spirit is working, you resting. But when you work and the Holy Spirit is resting. <laughs> Many people, you don't, we don't make no room for the Holy Spirit to work because you trying to do everything. You trying to work everything out. You trying to fight all your battles. Boy, you listen to me. Let the Holy Spirit flow. Let him work so that you can rest. And God wants you to calm and quiet yourself and be led in terms of humility. Know that it is God who's fighting your battles. The Bible says, be still and know that he is God. And I'll leave you with this right here. There was a little frog and he wanted to take a vacation. He said, man, how am I going to take a vacation? I can't fly. He saw two birds flying over him. He said, hey, little birds. He said, I have an idea. He said, can y'all like pick me up and fly me across the country? Little bird said, man, we ain't that strong. And little frog say, surely we can come up with a plan. One of the birds say, oh, I see a little rope right there. Little birds say, all right, I'm going to bite one end and my friend bird is going to bite the other end. And froggy, you're going to bite the middle of the rope and we're going to fly you to the other side of the country. You get it? One rope going across and froggy, you bite the middle and we will fly you. Frog say, man, that's a brilliant plan. Froggy bit the rope and they took off. Boy, they made it halfway across the country. All of a sudden, they went by a beach. And they flying in the air looking at it like, man, this is a cool, this is a cool little beach right here. You feel me? And then somebody out there swimming said, Oh my goodness, is that a frog flying across the country? Surely somebody came up with this brilliant idea. I want to know who who thought of this brilliant idea. And the frog said, I did, I did. So as he said, I Oh, he let go of the rope with it because he's supposed to be biting the rope with his mouth. He let go of the rope and he fell all the way down in the sand. Cool part of the story. 
I don't want to be too 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 graphic. Froggy didn't die. He just landed on some sand. You feel me? Moral of the story, boy. When you're flying with God, be sure to give him the glory. It was them birds that carried your little froggy. Stay humble and give God the glory. Because see, God is going to, I'm talking to you. He's going to use you to do some major things out here in this world. Be sure to give him the glory. Don't get proud for talking about, I did it. I did it. I did it. No, listen to me. It is God who is doing it. God is supernatural, boy. You got to stay humble. You got to stay humble. I love you. If you made it to this video, hit the like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I will stay humble in Christ. I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video.